Hi guys, this is Amanda Ruta, and today I want to show you how you can incorporate some percussive stuff from samba into dead notes and make your samba groove sound extra funky and as a consequence how you can transport this exact samba bass line into almost any funk groove and bring some cool different funk elements to your band it sounds hip check it out <laughs> very simple basically I'm incorporating elements of traditional samba of percussion from the traditional samba players like not not the fancy jazz stuff like the people that go out from the scholars of samba during carnaval the samba schools and the 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 simple traditional bands from Rio de Janeiro or Sao Paulo where you sit in a circle and there's like three or four or five percussionists and one guy playing guitar, the other guy playing cavaquinho, and you're playing bass. And how to incorporate that as dead notes inside your samba groove. And what that's gonna do for you is that it's gonna make you lock in better with the hi-hat, and it's gonna bring all these cool percussive elements on the bass, and it's gonna make everything like more danceable, and the groove is gonna feel fuller within the ensemble. So this is a very simple thing that you can do and it's gonna make you sound like extra hip in two seconds. So basically, the basic, most simple, traditional samba bass line is just the root and the fifth. Emphasizing the surdo on B2. So one, two, one, two, one, two. So what I'm doing is, is I'm using, instead of playing like in the regular bass way, just with these two fingers, I'm using the thumb to be my my surdo, my strong B2. And what, what the thumb does is that it allows me, my other fingers and the rest of my hand, to move around. So while this note is ringing from the thumb, I can be doing all sorts of crazy things here, which is basically like little dead notes and percussive stuff from tambourine, from pandeiro, uh, even like from heco heco, you can add some cuica, whatever you want. So what I was playing was, I was grooving over D and C, and I was just adding these dead notes. Uh, very simple, so. That's the thumb here, and then I can use this little finger if I wanna make it a high percussive note, or I'll use my first finger if I want to make it low, so. I mean, you can have come up with all sorts of variations and practices with a drum machine and have so much fun with it. And then I was showing you how this exact same bass line will work so well with almost any funk groove. And what's cool about it is that if you begin to incorporate this semi-folkloric Latin American Brazilian stuff into your bass, line, bass lines and bring it to like a pop setting or like a jazz a fusion or R&B or whatever, you're gonna come up, show up a different aesthetic of a bass line. And you're bringing a, like a new flavor to the band. And it's, it's super cool, it's exciting. So again, I play the same bass line over a funk groove. So it's like you have the drummer thinking, like playing and the guy's thinking funk. But your brain is like
Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for some new base workouts. Also, check out my website where you can download the PDF transcript of this lesson and many more other lessons. Hope to see you soon.